Good morning, everybody. It's Minute and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. I'm starting an episode in a position that wasn't in the exact same position as when I ended the last episode for once. Hooray! In the last episode, we had a battle with the Spider Queen, Muffet. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to her because she mistook us for an other human, or maybe we just tricked her into thinking there was some other human. Like, maybe because we bought stuff at the beginning of the game, we were able to get out of that fight. I'm not entirely sure. There you are, dearie. You're always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Wee-hee-hee-hee! That's it. Okay. We're just allowed to leave. Great. And a Metaton poster. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. This looks cool. Oh, that human! Oh god, it's gonna be like a Romeo Juliet sort of thing. Could it be? Oh my god, he's wearing a dress. My one true love. I <laughs> like how I'm just always unamused in every situation. I'm just like, eh. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Whee! Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly the f the para, para the whatever that word is will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible color tile maze. Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, Oh, Jesus! You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! <laughs> my poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh my Christ, it was actually something that we needed to remember way back then. And it actually affects us now. I know the pink ones do nothing. The ones are in our way. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh my Christ, I do not remember anything. Oh, uh, go through here. It's actually possible to beat it, though, which is funny to me. Uh, go down this way. And... Uh, go over here. No, we can't. So, and we're dead, by the way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my... Any minute now. Robotic cough. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Get it, the firewall? Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right! Come on, Metaton, give up already. 
You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over. Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Metaton attacks. This is probably the final time we're going to see him. It's not a game show anymore. It's a full-blown battle. Uh, we could check or we could yell. We'll yell at him. You yell. Nothing happened. Great. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, don't, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. Uh, act, metaton, yellow. Press the yellow button. The phone is re resonating with metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Oh, uh, what? What? Now press X. Oh, hello. It is a shooter now. Oh, oh, you defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Something, I couldn't see it. Probably goodbye. Rain. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Oh, I could say all thanks to you. Fine, all thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything's cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but c can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. Aww. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, but guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Oh, now I sort of like you, even though you're really stinking annoying, but I don't know, I like to hear that you like yourself more because of everything that we just went on together. Uh, these guys are back again. Oh, hey, we're like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> uh, I got this guy again. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile! How about that? <laughs> oh my god. I really, really do like the dialogue in this game. It's the shining smile moment of this entire thing. Uh, okay. Metaton looked really, really cool in that dress. It sort of makes me feel like I could wear one, too. It's a poster for Metaton's stage performance. Apparently I went backwards the way I came, and I found this guy who was just admiring Metaton's dress. Nothing new here. Huh. So, I guess that's a cool little secret. There's, like, probably a million different things in this game that I have no idea about and I'm excited I am genuinely excited to research each and every single thing about it I am definitely invested in like just all the branching paths and everything no oh, I forgot about you do you remember my name Javert did you oh Jesus Christ yes what you remember how could I be so easily defeated I I'll always remember that you remembered I thought I would actually have to say his name but it didn't happen okay then he's just gonna be shocked that I remembered his name I'm glad I don't actually have to prove it because I don't remember it was like flamey McFlamerson the flameth or something hey go up the creepy alleyway to the right for some great deals okay then that doesn't sound suspicious in the slightest whoa you look creepy hey check it out yeah check it out you can buy stuff junk food heal 17 HP has big bite out of it uh, 350 for an empty can. I spent way too much money on, on stinking Muffet. Weapon, it's a new weapon. Uh, 12 attacks, so I'll get 2 plus more attack. Bullets not included, so I just smack people with it or something. Uh, cowboy hat. Armor, 12 defense will give me slightly more defense. Attack worn up when worn. Unknown, uh, probably to someone's house, lol. 
Oh, that probably that's probably for the ghost house or something. I need to get that key, definitely. I wish I didn't spend so much stinking money on stinking Muffet. No uh, thanks, but we like don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand G if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. <laughs> what the fruit? Uh, talk about you to select what's up. I'm Braddy and I'm Caddy and this is my friend. This is my best friend, best friend, Caddy Braddy. Okay, about your wares. The stuff inside is like a totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked shape! You should, like, totally wicked, totally wicked, buy all of, buy all of it, it! Uh, origin of wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or- We found it in the garbage! It's like garbage! It's good garbage! It's like really good garbage! Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh! I found a gun in a dumpster waterfall mostly. Huh, about Metaton. Oh my god, oh my god, Metaton, Metaton! He's like, actually, he's my robot, like, husband. My robot husband. I think we're, we're both, like, both, like, we're already going to marry, married to him, him. He just, like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alphys's build Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you, but like Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend, but they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Uh, about Alphys. Oh my god, oh my god, Alphys, Alphys. She used to, she was like love on our a big sister a street I mean like if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump she showed us the coolest places to find trash she was always collecting those weird cartoons then she became the royal scientist yeah we haven't seen her in forever so Alphys has always like thought Asgore is a super cutie so like I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to like totally impress him a robot with soul. That's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's like seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must like just stay in her lab all day. Like live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a big, he's a total fuzzy goober goopball. Like he's like that guy, so nice. God, God, we're like, like, so hyped for, so hyped for the destruction, the destruction of humanity of humanity. Yes, I know I wasn't reading that properly, but whatever, it was funnier that way. Oh my stinking God, I need to get 600 G so I can buy that stinking mystery key. Like, see ya, like, later, you later and stop. That was certainly an experience. Sans is still here, thankfully. Hey, I heard you go into the, to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure, why not? Great, thanks for treating me. Oh, God. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? Is it really? I don't want the game to be over. You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling. Butto. Butto. But, though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food. Drink, friends, is what you have to do. Really worth it? I wish they would tell us, or wish I could find out, because there is some sort of story behind this human, this specific character, but no one seems to know or tell us about it. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit down out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. 
and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking him out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's ever heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. This, we kept telling each other, we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an, inter has an integrity you, you can't say no to. You do get what I'm saying. That promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh, actually I have. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Hey. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. <sighs> I'm just not getting over the fact that... The one who took us in and wanted us to avoid all of this is the only character that I killed. I just hate that. I wish that I could have done something. Like, I'm never going to be able to get over that if I could... Get through the rest of the game without killing anyone. And just the one person that I messed up on was someone that I was expecting to have such a big involvement in this story. I don't know, I just feel really terrible about it. Huh. It's a platoon of ficuses. As I come in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. You're really creepy. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. So is this his restaurant or something? Uh, let's see, go over here. We got this devil dude. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now building things wind winding and confusing. Uh, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, Sans. Seems there's a break now. Whatever it is Sans does. I work at the core. The inside is a maze of the swappable parts. That means we get to shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. You love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Hey, 
And who are you, Mr. Happy Leafy Fan? Blub blub, you'll have to you have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your Okay. Can I read the book? No, I cannot. Go out here. I don't even know where I am really, because we came in through a different entrance. Uh that's where Sands went. Where is if we go up here? He just has a way about him. Okay. Uh, we made it to the Metaton restaurant of some sort. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment big building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or uh, still live here, MTT Resort provides or prides itself on great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain Build 21X Metaton added last week. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. I feel like we haven't heard that in a while. Uh, we could- okay. Well, I was gonna say, we could explore around a bit before we end the episode. This is a lot of creepy stuff. Oh my god. Uh, let me think. Oh, we got so many things. Should I just end the episode now? Uh, let me talk to these weirdos just because I want to know. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you could heat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Okay. As a slime, I'm outraged. What? <laughs> the, the elevator's in use. And this is a shop. Oh, okay. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, TM. I wonder if I if anything will happen if I get them a glam burger and go back to them. A uh, Starfay heals 14 HP, very popular food. Heals 27 HP, very popular food. Here's 40 HP, a hero sandwich, attack up in battle. A steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Heals 60 HP, don't ask please. It sounds actually really good. <laughs> I just wanna see what a steak would look like in the shape of Metaton's face. Uh, sell? Oh my Christ, why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger person, I'm just trying to survive. That was creepy. I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Fine, I'll buy a glam burger. Oh my Christ! Oh, this thing's disgusting. Thanks, you have a fab you full day. Talk, I guess. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with customers. Sorry. Hey, so I want to be an actor. Oh my god, this thing's terrifying. Life advice. What the fruit is this thing? It's disgusting, it's scaring me, and I don't like looking at it. I'm getting on in on on in on the years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You still got time, don't live like me! I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Oh my Christ. Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm gonna save a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people! Unless you're one of them, then you're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sing them with the members! And that naive teenager was like, I said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out of the alley, I saw those two ladies, and uh, you know, see what happened next. Uh, then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. He was so scared of them, I just went back and shoved them to the ground! Now wanting to lose race, I scrambled to pick them up, but as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Booger Burger Pants now. Okay, Metaton. When I first came to hunt me, I know we might doing the work with Metaton. Well, to be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Metaton- wait, what, why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change the, something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Alright! Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find you so attractive? Wait, is MTT just Metaton? I don't know. He's literally just a stinking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. I hate this thing so much. I can't describe just how uncomfortable I feel right now. Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes! 
I'll probably be trapped in this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going! If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the service! It'll be a brand new world! There's gotta be a second test for me out there for everyone! So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Okay, exit. Get out of here now. Jesus Christ. I don't know why, but like, I... I felt so stinking anxious just staring at that thing. Oh my god, I want to like rip it out of the TV and break its neck. Oh my god. Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running a special rate. 200G a room. Interested? I don't think I have money. I don't have money. I probably have to go grind up some money. That's what I'm going to be doing next episode is getting some moolah. Unless these gals will give me something for this Glamburger I just bought that I didn't really want or need. Oh my god, is that a Glamburger? Oh my god, give me! God, can they try to have some self-control? Sorry. Cause they obviously bought that Glamburger from me. No way! Uh, I need two Glamburgers, don't I? Uh, I don't know what I'm more upset about, the fact that I have to grind for money or the fact that I have to stare at that stinking whatever it was again. I... I'm just gonna take some time to myself to get that situated and I'm gonna end this off here, okay? You don't have to watch me suffer. Next time on Undertale, we are going to have a buttload of money and we'll see what that does for me. Hopefully it's actually worth it and not a complete waste of stinking time. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.